My name is Sheng Dang, and in the following times, I will introduce you some basic knowledge about the bacterial cell biology. Yes. So my lecture had two parts in bacterial cell biology. Well, in the first part, we'll talk about the bacterial colonies, colony morphology, and some basic knowledge about bacterial biofilms. Well, this is a learning objective of part one. So after this part, you are expected to be able to explain the definition and characteristics of a bacterial colony and a bacterial biofilms be able to distinguish different colony morphologies and describe their features clearly, use accurate terms, for example, in your exercise 1C, and be able to list several factors that will influence the bacteria colony morphology. Yes. And so, what is a bacteria colony? Well, Bacterial colony is a visible cluster of bacterial cells, all originating, originating from one single mother cell. As you already learned from the previous lectures, a bacterium is too small to be seen without a microscope. So however, the cells grow on agar plate, they can consume the nutrients within the medium, and each single cell can replicate many times um, to generate millions or billions of cells that begin to pile up and to form a single colony. So as you can see from this little film, so the cells start to grow and can be visible on the plate. And they continue to grow up. It's very easy to see the surface structure of the colony. Well, since the cells in the same colony, in theory, comes from the same mother cell, they should have identical um, genomes or genetically alike. And also, all this, the division time for E. coli and the similar microorganisms range from 20 minutes to one hour. So in theory, in the E. coli that you use in this course, um, the division time, the generation time is around half an hour. So after 30 times of division, you can see this tiny little colonies and the time will be cost about overnight or 12 hours. So the examination of the appearance of this colonies actually is termed colony morphology. Well, this describing colony morphology is the first part of identifying identify and characterizing a bacterial culture because the individual bacterial species often form colonies of uh, defined size or appearance. As you can see from this photo, the colonies of different colors or forms or size, um, they actually belong to a different species. So a specific terminology, therefore, is used to accumulately, uh, uh, accurately and consistently describe the morphology of a colony. And it could be described from the form, the size, the height, the edge, the color, and a lot of things. So the form refers to the basic shapes of the colony. And this photo you can see here shows several common colony forms, such as circular, irregular, filamentous, and other different, uh, different shapes. Well, regarding to the size of the colony, it could be described in two ways. The more accurate way would be you just to use a ruler and measure the size of diameter and mark them in milli millimeters. Um, the second way is uh, you can just uh, describe it use the words like tiny or small or medium or large. Well, the following features is called height or elevation. So it describes the side view of the colony. When you try to see the height or the elevation of a colony, you really need to see through the end of the, uh, the uh, petri dish and try to describe it in details. 
Well, some colonies also have different shapes of edges. Sometimes the edges of colony is quite easy to be viewed, such as um, the entire shape. Um, you can see with your naked eye that they have the sharp ends. But for some uh, ends, you can see, that, for example, the filamentous. It's quite hard to see uh, with your naked eyes. Then you might borrow from the uh, microscope or a staining method. So some bacteria can also produce pigments of various colors. As you can see from this photo, this is a pigmented pseudoatomonas colonies. Um, so you can see the blue color, the red color, or the yellow color. Um, it is, these colors actually uh, comes from the secondary metaboli. Then you need to just use the color to describe this morphology. Um, of course, there's other features need to be described if you can see this uh, in, in your colony, in your colonies, uh, which includes the surface. For example, some bacteria uh, colonies, the surface are much more drier or smooth than the others. Then try to describe it in your text. Um, and also, there's other features. Uh, if you can see it, just write it down. Um, however, it needs to be mentioned that even for the same spe species, um, the colon morphology could be modified and could be uh, different under different cultural conditions. For example, medium or temperature of incubations or even the age of the cultures. So uh, since it is very important, um, since, um, since it is influence the colony morphology that um, you need really need to mention the cultural conditions in your colony morphology description. For example, you need to write down for uh, um, the species name, the medium that you used, and the type temperature and the age of your culture. Mm -hmm. Well, some bacteria, especially the bell film formation bacteria, such as uh, Bacilli or Pseudomonas, um, their size or, or colony morphology um, varies, depend also depends on the agar concentration. So this is very important information if you try to describe this bell film formation species. Mm -hmm. Need to be mentioned that uh, overnight culture in this course and also in most cases, it means um, the hours, the age of the culture is between 12 hours to 16 hours. However, in some labs, they also use uh, overnight culture to mention that it's it's also means could also means one day culture or 24 hours culture. So just ask. The, the, your colleagues if you enter a new lab. Also, um, uh, genetic variants also lead to the alterna alterna alterations in colony morphology of the same species. Uh, for example, this photo shows two strains um, or substrates of the same species that isol isolate from the environment, um, you can see that the cells um, in the left colony um, it forms something like you know the the clockwise uh, shapes um, colonies. While in the right side of this um, colony, it shows like counterclockwise. So. Uh, even for the same subspecies, um, you can see that uh, the single mutation on some some genes can lead to different morphologies. Mm -hmm. Well, another example could be seen in this um, Campylobacter. Um, you can see that from this plate. There are two um, different colonies. So the first group is a large one. They are more dual and flatted. And on the um, right part within the right circle, this colony, a small colony with sh more shiny and rounded. 
So here's a little summary about the previous slides. Um, so in the previous slides, we discussed about the uh, bacterial colony from the definition and the characteristics. And also we, call, we discussed a little bit about the uh, colony morphology. Uh, so the terms that you need to use to describe colony morphology and also the factors that influence the colony morphology.